Hi guys, welcome to my week 10 pregnancy vlog. I'm super excited to be filming for you. Today is Monday, May 11th, and I am currently 11 weeks and four days. But today's video is gonna be all about week 10. Um, so I'm gonna be talking about what happened in my last week of pregnancy. And I am in a bathrobe. It's not even my new one, so this is like my dingy old one, but I am so cold. It is freezing up in my room. Um, it has been snowing here the last couple days, which is just like depressing because it's May <laughs> and we're still getting snow. I mean, I'm grateful that the ground is still green. I am grateful for that, but I'm over the snow. Um, but so it's a little chilly in here and I've been cold today. So I'm in my comfy bathrobe. I showered and put makeup on, but that was about as far as I got. <laughs> I was like, I'm not even gonna worry about the rest. Okay, so let's get into week 10 of pregnancy. Um, I hope you guys are liking this vlog. If you are, make sure you subscribe and click the like button. Um, if you are in your pregnancy journey, I would love for you to reach out to me so we can connect. I've been hearing from so many mamas who are pregnant and I love it because most of them are like, hey, we haven't told anyone yet, but I'm pregnant too, which is so fun. I love being like in the know, right? And we can talk about all of the different things that we're going through and how we're feeling and just all that jazz. So if you're pregnant and you're following along, make sure you reach out. I would love to connect with you and see how your journey is going as well. Okay, so in week 10, we are gonna talk about um, like main symptoms that I had. We're also gonna talk about some gender stuff. And um, lastly, we're gonna talk about something really stupid that I did and how that all played out. So I will start with um, the gender stuff because that is super exciting and I just like cannot wait. I am beyond excited to find out what the gender of this baby is. So I know I've been talking about it in previous weeks and Dan, I talked to Dan and we have decided that we are going to do the blood test. Um, so we have our appointment next Monday. Oh my gosh, it's in one week, I'm so excited. We have our first official, well it's not, it's not really our first appointment, we had our first midwife appointment, but our first appointment like where we're gonna go in to the midwife, we're gonna get to hear the heartbeat of the baby, she's gonna do all the measurements, we're gonna take lots of tubes of blood, I'm sure. Anyone who's been pregnant knows that they like to draw lots of blood. Um, so we're gonna do all of the things and I'm just so excited to finally like, not necessarily see baby, but like hear baby and like just know that like everything's going well. So I'm super, super excited for that and that is on next Monday, the 18th. And so when we go in for that appointment, we are going to have them draw the blood um, for the genetic screening, which will also give us the gender. So they say it takes about a week to get the results. So that week is gonna be torture. <laughs> it's gonna be so much torture. Um, but I have some fun little things that I think we're gonna do um, in the meantime uh, with you guys. And so I think that'll keep me distracted. So stay tuned for that. I will probably be doing that um, actually probably in Facebook because I think I'm going to do it on a Facebook Live. So if you don't already follow me on Facebook, check that out. Um, it's at Amanda D. Weld one And yeah, I'm super excited. Okay, so last thing about the gender is we ordered our gender reveal supplies. They are on their way. We got an, um, a notification that they have already shipped, which is exciting because it said that it might not come until like the 20 something. And I was like getting really nervous that we weren't gonna have it like when we find out. So the whole thing, the whole reason we decided to order early is because I am very impatient. Dan is very impatient. And as soon as we get the results, I want to know. So instead of waiting until we get the results and then having to order you know have someone order the pink or the blue or whatever and then wait another like god knows how long because everything with shipping takes so long right now with the whole coronavirus pandemic um so i was like let's just order blue and pink which stinks because we end up spending more money but whatever it's worth it 
we order blue and pink and then we're gonna give all of the stuff to um, Dan's dad because he sees well we'll give it to Dan's stepmom actually because he sees her at work every day and so um, his stepmom and his dad are gonna be the ones in charge of like making sure that we can't see what color it is or whatever and then they will open the results so they're gonna be the only ones who know before us and they're gonna open the results and then they're going to give us the color uh, like all wrapped up and stuff so that we can't see what it is and then we will do a gender reveal at home We are gonna film it. So don't worry. You'll get to watch and I'm super super excited because I have never done a gender reveal with both my first pregnancy and second pregnancy we just went in for our 12 week um, like genetic screening sonogram Excuse me, which we're not having with this one um, and they were able to tell us the gender luckily we got lucky and so we found out at 11 weeks with Andrew and 12 weeks with Danny. And um, so I'm super excited because I'll already be 12 weeks and four days when I get my blood drawn. So by the time we get the results, I'll already be 13 weeks. So this will be the latest we've ever had to wait, which I know seems ridiculous. Some people wait the whole pregnancy and some people wait till they're 20 weeks. Like my sister is pregnant right now and she just found out when she was 20 weeks, which is crazy to me. I can't imagine waiting that long. I'm way too impatient for that. So anyway, so I'm super excited. If you've done a gender reveal, I would love to hear in the comments or reach out to me privately or whatever. I would love to hear all about your gender reveal, what you chose to do. Um, obviously we know what we're doing already because we already, already ordered it and I will save that as a surprise, but I still love hearing about it. I love watching all the gender reveal videos. I'm totally into it. So I'm super excited about that. Next, I'll talk about what I did that was really stupid. <laughs> uh, so, sometimes I forget that I'm, I'm not as young as I was. I, I understand I'm not old. I'm 32 currently. By the time this baby's born, I'll be 33. But I just am not as, as young, we'll say, as I used to be. And we were outside with the kiddos. This was now two weekends ago. And um, they were all, they were doing cartwheels and stuff. And I was like, oh, like mommy's got this. So let me show you how to do a cartwheel. Well, I did one cartwheel and I felt something pull like in my leg, groin, hip, back. I don't know what it was, um, but my whole right leg immediately went numb and was like tingly all the way down to my foot. And I was like, oh no, like this is bad. And if you remember my last video, I went to the chiropractor that, I think it was a Wednesday. Was it a Wednesday or Friday? I don't know. It was Wednesday or Friday. And then, so then this happened that weekend. So it was like not only a couple days after I had gone to the chiropractor. And so I was like, okay, like it's going to be fine. So then stupid me does like two more cartwheels. Not smart, Amanda. <laughs> not smart. But it happened. And the rest of that weekend, I could not walk. Like I couldn't, I mean, I could walk, but I couldn't walk without being in pain. Um, I was in a lot of pain. My back was hurting. My hip was hurting. My leg was hurting. So I ended up actually going to the chiropractor twice last week. So in week 10, I went to the chiropractor twice. So I've been to the chiropractor three times now <laughs> after waiting like nine. This is why I can't wait nine weeks because then stuff like this happens. So I finally feel better. It's definitely still a little sore, but I definitely feel so much better. Um, but yeah, I just like couldn't believe like, well, I don't know what came over me, what in my brain thought like that that was a good idea. <laughs> but I learned my lesson. So from here on out throughout this pregnancy, I will no longer be doing cartwheels just in case anyone was wondering. No more cartwheels. All right, so that was that. Now, the last thing I wanted to talk about was some symptoms for week 10. So week 10 um, was kind of crummy. I'm not gonna lie, I was like really excited. I was like, ooh, double digits, like week 10, we're getting into like feeling better, you know, second trimester's coming up. Week 10 was not good. It was, I, and I remember my last video, I kept mentioning like, oh, like I felt so great. I barely had to take any naps. Like it was wonderful. I'm like, oh, my fatigue is is gone. No, 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 no. It came back. It came back and it was like, were like, it was terrible. I was, I slept a lot. I took a lot of naps. I had a lot of headaches. I had a headache almost every single day in week 10. 
Um, some of them were bad enough that like I had to sleep pretty much like the whole day because like my head hurt. Um, I did have nausea in week 10, but it wasn't anything like super crazy. I remember maybe one or two days were pretty bad, but like overall it was not, it wasn't a really bad week for nausea. It was more just the fatigue and the headache. So I don't know what was going on with baby that week, but, um, something important must have been growing <laughs> or whatever, um, because I was wicked tired, like just it was bad and lots of headaches. Um, for the nausea, I still have been continuing to do those vitality drops, have been working really well. I've still been doing the lemon ginger tea and actually I found out that it tastes really good iced um, because a couple days it was warm uh, for a little bit and so I iced it and it was, actually I think I like, it was amazing, iced. Um, and I used peppermint a couple days that was helpful. Um, also like cough drops like that have peppermint flavor, like that seems to help. Um, and then I use the alkaline, which I think I might've mentioned in one of the videos before. It's like a natural Alka-Seltzer kind of, and you just like, it's a packet and you just put it in water. It's really good for like balancing pH, stomach pH and stuff. And I, um, those things have been really helping that when I start to feel nauseous, if I start doing those things, like, as soon as it hits me, it's it seems to be better and not as terrible. So I don't know if that's why the nausea has been better because I've been kind of following up on those things or if it's just getting better because I'm getting further along. Who knows? Um, but I thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, also, I have been having some insomnia. Like the one night I was up from, I think it was 1.30 in the morning until 4.30, which is so not me. I usually sleep like a log. My husband gets like so jealous because he has trouble sleeping and I'm over there just like my head hits the pillow I'm done like and a couple nights I had a really hard time sleeping um I also have been noticing it's been harder for me to fall asleep at night I don't know if maybe it's because I'm napping more um so it could be that it could have been because uh, I was uncomfortable with the whole hip thing and the headaches um so it could have been a whole bunch of things but Regardless, it happened in week 10, so I figured I'd share um, because, again, I want to be as honest and open as I possibly can because my hope is that this helps you get through your journey, um, or especially if you're a first-time mom because I think it's really hard being a first-time mom and not knowing what's normal and what's not. At least when it's like your second or third, you kind of know because although every pregnancy is different, like you kind of know like, okay, around this time I felt like this or you know, whatever. So, um, so, okay. So yeah, so that, the insomnia, the fatigue, the headaches, um, the nausea, and then like constipation again too. So just like being just uncomfortable, not going normally every day like I would. Um, and for that, I've just been doing lots of water. I think that also has to do with, I've been in bed a lot, so I'm not moving. So lots of water. I've been eating the prunes and then trying to get more exercise in. Like I did yoga a couple times this past week when I was like feeling a little bit better. Um, and so hopefully that will be able to continue and I can do more. So I'm like moving around and excuse me. That's another, that's another one burping. Like, I hear that from other people, and I was like, I don't think I've been burping a lot, but I have, and even my husband, I was just sitting on the bed with him not that long ago, video chatting with my sister, she lives up in Vermont, and um, he was like, the two of you have just been burping this whole conversation. She was drinking a seltzer water, so that was her excuse, but I wasn't, and I just, I don't know. I guess I have been burping a lot, so I don't know if that's, like, from the pregnancy, but I don't normally... I'm not like a normally burpy person. So I'm gonna say it's probably pregnancy related. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that was pretty much it for week 10. Um, and I will sh quickly show you a belly shot, but it's really not a week 10 belly. It's more a week 11 and four days belly. So I apologize, it's kind of not really whatever. And I'm definitely in like pajamas, so. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, not sorry. All right, so here is with like a shirt on. You can kind of, you can see the belly now. It's starting to pop out there. Still, still not as far out as my boobs, but it's it's definitely a belly. 
So then we'll lift up the shirt here. There's my little, we'll see if we can lower these just a little. We don't need to be sharing anything with people that shouldn't be shared, but that's the front view and the side view. That's my little, my little nugget is growing. I'm so excited to come back and share with you guys um, more about week 11 and then week 12, I will have all of my midwife appointment information in here. So I'm super excited to do that. So again, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos as much as I'm enjoying making them. If you are, please let me know. I would love to hear from you and I'd love to hear about your pregnancy journey and um, I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.